Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be making user interface for a calculator both using Fast API uh, and uh, TK Inter. Here is uh, one example. Uh, the, fun, the fun part of this calculator is that it's entirely made up of prime numbers. I thought maybe this would be funny. Anyway, it works. 2 plus 3 equals 5. For example, minus 5 equals 0. You can clear it. What's the square root of 7? It's 2.6. I don't know if that's correct. Divided by 3. So it works. Here is the code. Entirely written by OpenAI's Playground, GPT-3. And uh, I have another one here. Uh, let me show you that one as well. This is this one's a bit interesting. Oh, it was working earlier. Let's see. Hmm. Anyway, so this this had a different design. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not working. Also, the TK Inter one, TK Inter interface is here save it it's pretty cool you say 2 plus 3 equals 5 for example to the power of 3 equals 125 square root of 125 is 11.1 something like that so let's see you can delete and also clear 25 square root is oh it just um, hmm. It puts a space in between so well what's the clear what's the square root of yeah 5.3 okay so uh, to create this i have uh, created two separate specs spe uh, what i call specification sheets let's start with the tk inter interface so we're just going to copy this come here to OpenAI's Playground and just paste it in. What I noticed is that uh, the code DaVinci just doesn't do very well with Fast API. It does. It just uh, because I want to serve the HTML through Fast API, as I have been doing in the recent videos, it just doesn't want to do that. But the text DaVinci 003 works well with that. But now we are doing the TK Inter, so let's just switch to code DaVinci. Let's make this a doc string and uh, let's see what it does well increase the temperature a bit just give it a second okay it's done writing it out let's copy bring it here paste it and uh, there's a problem here to fix that let's run it so this is an interesting one uh, it really didn't put the buttons for the numbers but enter a number let's say five another number five to the power five to the power of five is okay is there any other buttons here okay clear uh, five five add that's ten Okay, how about square root? That works. That's interesting, but we wanted the buttons, right? So let's uh, let's let's try again. So this is good for a first try. I'll just let it write, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it wasn't really putting it as buttons. So I just added prime numbers will be buttons. I hope maybe this will help. Let's run it again okay now it's making them buttons that's good shouldn't take too long oh it's just, yeah. it's, yeah. oh wow it's doing interesting stuff okay 
Wrote a lot of code. Hope it works. Okay, let's run it. Save it. Run it. Okay, well, all right, 3 plus 11 equals 14. Clear. It's good. 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. Nice. Square root of it equals. Uh, how, do we, how do we do it? Uh, oh, square root of. Let's say 7 plus 2. Oh, okay. So square it doesn't work. Well, okay. This is good. I think this is good enough for... You can just keep doing it each time it generates a different interface. This is pretty cool. I mean, you can just observe the code and learn a whole lot of different ways of using TK into Really, that's what I've been doing. I hope you enjoy this. So let's just move on to making the fast API UI. So we're just going to copy this. This is a bit trickier, but we'll give it a go anyway. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to use text DaVinci for this. And I, I do want to uh, say from, I do want to import responses because uh, I just found out it just doesn't do well with that. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's start with from. Okay. Right here, I just want to add responses. It just does so much better with that. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. It's making the buttons, but I don't know why it started from seven. That's why they're, they're all still prime numbers. Did we even say the first nine numbers? Like we said nine prime numbers, so it just picked any which one. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's have this. Okay, so here we start. We have to rest let me see if your record is running. Yeah, it is running. Let's come here. Right, okay. 11. Well, can we not clear this? What is this? Okay, 7 plus 11 equals 18. What's this? I'm not sure what this does. But so, okay, 7 minus, uh, clear it, 7 minus 11 equals negative 4. Square root of negative 4 is square root of 13. That doesn't, so 7 plus 11 equals 18. Square root of it, so that doesn't work. 7 to the power of, 7 to the power of 11 equals 12 that didn't work uh, 17 divided by 7 okay it's just it's a, it's a weird interface let's just give it another go responses let's go uh, let's see what it does this time i hope you're doing all well uh, i don't know when you'll be watching this video but it's close to the New Year's. Happy holidays, everyone, and Happy New Year to you. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like this content. Feel free to leave a comment with uh, suggestions or your thoughts. Uh, let's see what it's doing. Not sure. Okay. Just writes a lot of interesting code by like that. Let's refresh. Okay. 5, 19, and 13. Add. Wow, this, this is cool. Can we clear it? Okay, 11, 5 to the power of. How about square root? Wow, this is cool. How about 2 to 23? Square root, how does this work? Power. What is 22 to the 23 power? It's a big number. 5, 7, 7 by 7. Multiply, it's 49. This was pretty cool. Well, it's almost 10 minutes. Maybe we'll stop it right here. 
Um, you know, uh, I think the crucial point is to make a good... Uh, so I modified this multiple times ahead of the video. Uh, for example, adding this really helps. Adding this definitely helped quite a bit. Insert all necessary... Well, it's actually misspelled. JavaScript into HTML. Give it a go, you know. Try different things. Let me know in the comments what you're trying. I hope you like this uh, and see you in the next video.